My name's Gavin Grant and I'm the Collections Team Leader for On5. Here in the Collection Centre in Glenrothes we have a wonderful art collection. One of my favourite paintings is called Love's Whispers by William McTaggart. It's a recent donation which was gifted to us just a couple of years ago. And visitors to our Collection Centre can come and view Love's Whispers and the many other McTaggart works we're fortunate to have here in the Collection Centre. Here in Glenrothes We've been trying to put more of our objects on display so when visitors go around our store here they can see some of the wonderful artefacts we have. For example, pottery made in Kirkcaldy, such as the beautiful Weemsware, uh, is on display and visitors can see some of our amazing pigs and cats, for example, made out of pottery in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. My name is Nicola Wilson, I'm one of the collections curators for Five Cultural Trust. So we have a full set of samurai armour within the collection, although the face mask is slightly earlier than the helmet and the rest of the armour, which is quite common in samurai armour collections, whereas collectors would gather pieces of armour and kind of create a suit. Um, so it's not uncommon to have a, disc, a different um, age of mask from the rest of the outfit. We're currently working with the National Museum of Scotland's curators to identify the provenance of it and the use of it as well. We currently think the bodysuit is for export, but the face mask may have been actually used during um, fights as proper armour pieces, um, but we're not sure. So we're currently working with the national curators to discover a bit more about this collection and these pieces. The samurai helmet and the face mask are part of our East Asia collection, and we're currently documenting them as part of an East Asia national partnership with the National Museum where we're looking at all of the collections or Japanese and Chinese objects and photographing them and also doing work with national curators to identify what they are and the significance of them. We're currently working on a project with Art UK to look at our sculpture collection. Our sculpture collection is not too large, um, it's only about 50 pieces but it is spread across Fife. We have quite a bit on display across Kirkcaldy and Dunfermline, also in Cooper as well and we have about 30 pieces um, on display within our collection centre. As part of this project we've been finding a lot more about the sculptors and the lives they lad and their kind of biographies for the collection and one of the sculptors, George B. Innes, um, we've recently discovered was actually expelled from Glasgow School of Art because he was too avant-garde, which is fascinating and something we didn't know before. I'm Andrew Dicey, I'm the Archives and Local Studies team leader and we're in the public search room in the Collection Centre at Bankhead. We've got a couple of books from the Archives out to show you. The first one is the Borough Council Minute Book for Kouris and in June 1656, Epi Creich was accused of witchcraft and was imprisoned in the toll booth. The other book I've got out for you is the Photo Register of Criminals. This book was kept at police headquarters in Cooper and it has a photograph and a charge sheet for each person. And you can now see these online on the Ancestry website.